everybody, I'm Ashlyn from OK Audio. Today, I'll be making a comparison video on Gooseneck microphone, specifically on those with a desktop base. Now, Gooseneck microphones, like its name, is shaped like a gooseneck. Its unique structure makes it the ideal microphone for speech and vocal pickup, usually mounted on rostrum, lectern, pulpit, or conference table for speakers. Today, we have four different gooseneck microphones. The first being Shure MX418D Stroke S with MX400DP base. Then we have Ecos GM20D, a sleek looking beauty. Then we have of course a Japanese brand here, DOA with its EM380AS. And finally, Sunying SY2401, a popular China brand for gooseneck microphones. Today, we'll be ranking these four microphones based on aesthetic and ease of functionality. Clarity, proximity, which measure how close do I have to be to the microphone for the sound of my voice to be heard. And finally, what's in the box. Basically, what does it come with? This Shure MX 418D Stroke S is an 18 inch gooseneck microphone with a bass. Now, Shure has a huge variety of gooseneck microphones, and you can easily get one that is longer or shorter or even one that comes with an inline preamp and not a desktop preamp. This particle model has super cardioid polar pattern, which means it has tighter pickup angle compared to a cardioid and offers better side ejection. It also means it is slightly sensitive to sound coming directly from behind the microphone. A super cardioid does provide better isolation from room noise and higher rejection of feedback. But as a user or speaker, I have to be very consistent with my position in front of the microphone. Movements might mean that I'm outside of the pickup range and I might not be heard. Like all gooseneck microphones, this is a condenser and needs to be powered up. This particular model is powered up using Phantom Power via its XL cable. Yes, its XL cable is attached to its base, which I find to be quite an inconvenience when I'm trying to pack this up or when I need a cable that's longer than a 3 meter cable that it comes with. It does come with an on-off button, which you can configure it to be mute when on or otherwise. It comes with a windscreen, perfect for those who might be heavy breathers. Next, we have Ecos GM20D that is 20 inches long. It is the longest gooseneck microphone that we have here with us today. It also has one that is 14 inches long, and if interested, you can get one that comes with a chime. Now, this Ecos GF20D, like the TOA and Sunning Gustek microphones, both which I'll introduce shortly, has cardioid polar pattern, the most common type. Cardioid polar pattern means that it has wider pickup angle, decent resistance to feedback, and is more sensitive to sound coming directly from the front rather than the back of the microphone. Now, this Ecos GM20D has an on-off button, and the best part is that it can be powered up using three different methods. It can be powered up using two AAA batteries or phantom power using a mixing console or directly using a power adapter. On that note, this does comes with a power adapter, a windscreen and an 8 meter long XR cable. Third, we have Toa EM380AS gooseneck microphone that is 18 inches long. It also has a version that comes with an inline preamp, which means you don't need a desktop base. This Toa EM380AS has cardioid polar pattern. It also has an on off button, and you can power up this bad boy using either two AA batteries or phantom power. There's a switch at the very back here that allows you to choose to power it up using AA batteries or phantom power. This Toa EM380AS does come with a 7.5 meter XL cable and a windscreen. Finally, we have here Sunying SY2401 that's only 15 inches long, but they do have one that's 18 inches long and comes with an inline preamp. This Sunying SY2401 has cardioid polar pattern. It also has an on-off button and can be powered up using two AA batteries or phantom power. This Sunying SY2401 comes with a windscreen and a 10 meter XL cable. Now 
that we are done with the introduction, we can begin the test. Please note that the volume and the gain level are equalized across all four microphones and all other settings are the same on a mixing console. Testing Shure MX418 D-Stroke S Gooseneck Microphone. This is the sound of my voice on Shure Gooseneck Microphone. Testing 1, 2, 3. Pucubaan 1, 2, 3. This is the sound of my voice on Shure Gooseneck Microphone 10 cm away. Testing 1, 2, 3. Pucubaan 1, 2, 3. This is the sound of my voice on Shure Gooseneck Microphone 20 cm away. Testing 1, 2, 3. Pucubaan 1, 2, 3. Testing Ecos GM20D Gooseneck Microphone. This is the sound of my voice on Ecos Gooseneck Microphone. Testing 1, 2, 3. Pucubaan 1, 2, 3. This is the sound of my voice on Ecos Gooseneck Microphone 10 cm away. Testing 1, 2, 3. Pucubaan 1, 2, 3. This is the sound of my voice on Ecos Gooseneck Microphone 20 cm away. Testing 1, 2, 3. Pucubaan 1, 2, 3. Testing TOA EM30AS Gooseneck Microphone. This is the sound of my voice on TOA Gooseneck Microphone. Testing 1, 2, 3. Pucubaan 1, 2, 3. This is the sound of my voice on TOA Gooseneck Microphone 10 cm away. Testing 1, 2, 3. Pucubaan 1, 2, 3. This is the sound of my voice on TOA Gooseneck Microphone 20 cm away. Testing 1, 2, 3. Pucubaan 1, 2, 3. Testing Sanying SY2401 Gooseneck Microphone. This is the sound of my voice on Sanying Gooseneck Microphone. Testing 1, 2, 3. Pucubaan 1, 2, 3. This is the sound of my voice on Sanying Gooseneck Microphone 10 cm away. Testing 1, 2, 3. Pucubaan 1, 2, 3. This is the sound of my voice on Sanying Gooseneck Microphone 20 cm away. Testing 1, 2, 3. Pucubaan 1, 2, 3. For my final thoughts, Shure Gooseneck Microphone is by far the best when it comes to clarity. It takes away all the unnecessary sound that you do not want to hear in a speech and produces this beautiful, lightweight and pleasing sound. It is, however, slightly expensive. This particular model, MX 418D Stroke S, costs more than a thousand. But if you're looking for quality, you should get the Shure Gooseneck microphone. Now, when it comes to Ecos GM20D Gooseneck microphone, I'm very impressed with how it fared in the proximity test. It produces a powerful and clear sound even when I was speaking at 20 cm away from the microphone. It is helpful to have a Gooseneck microphone like Ecos when you have a big rostrum and the speaker or the presenter is unable to be in close proximity with the microphone. It's also quite affordable, so if you have a limited budget, Ecos is a better choice. After Ecos, we tested the Toa EM380AS Gooseneck microphone. Keep in mind that while Toa might not perform as well in the proximity test, its capsule was specifically designed with increased audibility and resistant to feedback in spacious areas like in the mosque or surau. I also really like that Toa has a switch at the back, allowing you to easily switch between operating using phantom power or battery. Lastly, we tried the Sunying SY2401 Gooseneck microphone. While it is not on par with Shure in regards to clarity, it does produce a very bright and clear sound. The quality of its sound is consistent even at 10 cm or 20 cm away from the microphone. It is affordable and comes with a very generous 10 meter XLR cable. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's comparison video. But before I leave, here's one tip when it comes to Gooseneck microphone. If you hear popping sound when you're speaking directly to the microphone, try applying a high pass filter or specifically reducing the low frequency at 100Hz using your mixing console, equalizer or processor. That's all for today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!